Well, this is the follow on from the previous transit uh, video. Um, as you can see, I've stripped the wing off so you can see the extent of the corrosion. Um, I've already uh, welded in the new footstep this side and just reconstructing a bit of an arch around here. And I'm going to cut all this out uh, to put another new outrigger on because this was the outrigger from the other side, from this side. As you can see, it's pretty bad. It's been patched a few times. Uh, not very well. So, uh, yes, cut it right out. I'll put a new one in. <coughs> you can just see it under there. Um, but yeah, I've got to cut all this out today. <coughs> and then hopefully try and get the new arch on, which is down there. And then uh, see how we get on. But yeah, it's coming together. It's taking longer than expected, but uh, we're getting there. And my friend is still here. Well, with the arch chopped out, you can see the corrosion's pretty bad. Got a bit of a concern of the uh, top damper area up here where it's quite corroded so I'm going to grind this back to see if there's any uh, soft metal there. I might have to literally strengthen all this up a little bit more. Yeah, getting there slowly. Okay, with the old arch nicely removed, um, just lining up and grinding back. Uh, these panels you tend to have to do a bit of trimming to get them to fit. The corrosion on the uh, near side of this vehicle has been pretty bad actually, so I've got a lot to do um, in strengthening. I say the new outrigger I've put on is is proven its worth because it's um, you know it's, it's like a starting point to sort of build up around it. Also, I have to put a box section on the back here to go around and underneath because underneath here was pretty bad. It's a nice new piece there and a new inner seal which I've got to weld in and then get everything else to line up. So yeah, it's looking pretty good. And the panels are lining up really nicely on this side. So perfect. Okay, the project's coming on nicely. Um, I've put the door back on and I've got the main step welded in and the outer arch. I've just got to grind back the back by the, by the B post, um, just slightly out the panel, just a fraction out. So a um, bit of grind and get that sorted out. Just making a plate up to going here. Strengthen that up and then, um, yeah, looking Well, good morning, another day in the world of rust. And as you can see, um, project's coming on quite well. Uh, the wing's not attached yet, so I've got a bit of lining up to do. Um, I had to uh, put a plate in here, um, just across there because the corrosion on the, on the bulkhead was pretty bad. Um, just give it a quick coat of primer and today <coughs> i'm going to tackle this little job up here i'll say little job it's quite a big job this was all full of filler and god knows what up here and you can see it's pretty bad so <coughs> i'll make up some templates and this is my cardboard template which is i'm going to cut some shit mild steel out in a sec but i'm going to cut all this back and uh try and build a plate into here this is the other shoe I've got, I'm right by the windscreen. However, this windscreen has actually got a crack in the other side, so if I crack the screen with the heat, all's not lost. So I've got to just try and make this uh, strong and try and treat all this rotten corrosion that's in here. So, uh, yeah, time to get the old grinding disc out and, uh, and crack on. But yeah, take your time with cutting these plates out. And it's looking pretty good. Okay, I know it looks like a foot or a boot, but that, once I've cut the, uh, the old metal out, that is going to sit in there quite nicely. And then another piece there, and weld them together, and then weld a, a lip just inside there. I've got to be really, really careful. But um, yeah, let's see how we get on. Yeah, that's not too bad. So nicely grind it ground back. Um, so I've got my plates ready to weld on, so let's give her a bash. Okay, I've welded the top plate and a corner plate here in. Just ground the corner of the welds back. I'm just gonna put a just a thin line of filler um, just across here just to finish her off and then she can have a proper rub back and everything else. So yeah but not too bad, not too bad at all. So the rest of it's looking good. I've had to use my old flux core 
weld a mild sealy one because it's a bit windy today but I've actually bought a new welder to help with the other restoration projects I've got to do and I'll quickly show you the new welder okay this is my new welder the Oxford MIG Maker 201 model it is a lovely bit of kit with the um, Euro torch uh, it takes a 15 kilogram uh, wire drum and absolutely brilliant the, the kit came with a brand new regulator so um, when it's not so windy or for welding indoors this is the one I'm going to be using uh, really nice bit of kit um, obviously ooh, you get much much tidier welds with this and you see it's got a proper decent motor than the, the cheap hobby welders for the wire feed mechanism and it's absolutely spot on I did a couple of sample welds yesterday with a scrap piece of steel and uh, there we go that's the that was the last one I did with her and she she actually penetrated right through but um, that was on the lowest setting or one of the lowest settings anyway but as you see you get a nice nice good bead so perfect so um, when I start doing my Land Rover again got a new rear cross member to put on that I'll be using the, the other welder now so keep watching okay there's a quick coat red outside she's uh she's ready to be sort of rubbed down and painted properly a little bit later on but um at least it won't leak anymore with that really great rust hole that was there so no more filler perfect this is the underside of the new footwell or footstep i should say you see it's pretty sound and looking damn fine <laughs> 